all right good day welcome everybody to my channel so this is going to be for the scorpios all right for the scorpios yes it's my blanket my cats are laying on it so i can't move it i do have a candle lit over there all right but for scorpios all right just kind of seeing how these chakra readings go um you're gonna know by the vibes that you get off this reading so any newcomers uh feel free to hit that like subscribe and share and welcome uh, you never know what's going to come out on my channel, all right? I go with the flow of the energy and spirit, so that's how I do it here. So let's see what we have for the Scorpios. For the Scorpios. Why is that bouncing? It looks like it was bouncing. For the Scorpios, please. For the Scorpios. Give me three chakra cards for the Scorpios, please. The animals wanted to come out. If it's meant to come back out, it will. For the Scorpios, please. Give me three cards for Scorpio. For the Scorpios, please. Wow, you have two here. Oh, red and green. So we've got Malachite which speaks of nature, the heart chakra. Nature will help open that heart chakra, heal that heart chakra. Commitment, the heart and the sacral chakras. Spirit guides, connect. <laughs> okay, so I feel like Scorpios, you have a very strong connection with nature. So if you really want to harness that connection even more, wear these stones, carry them with you, all right? Garnet and Malachite. Commit to this. Commit to nature, commit to your spirit guides, commit to your faith and your path is what I'm getting off of this here. Can we get one more for the Scorpios, please? Can we get one more for the Scorpios? These are general readings, so this could affect people at different times, all right? Everybody can be in similar situations just at different times, all right? Wow, you got two more Scorpios. Ancestors with the pipe stone at the bottom. You've got a strong connection here, Scorpios. Carnelian. A lot of reds. Carnelian for, you know, that confidence. And then we got this one here. Water, ocean, throat chakra. That one I need to ponder on for a minute because I'm not quite sure. That doesn't come out very often. So it speaks of your throat chakra. It's inner peace. This is going to help provide you inner peace here. The inner peace is going to bring out more self-confidence within yourself here. Spend time near water is what I'm getting. All right. You may like to be by the river, lakes, ponds, oceans. Um, with the nature, this is really par and up here. All right. You might just love being by, like, little streams. Imagine your worries and concerns being swept away with that water, okay? Go with the flow with things in life, that ebb and flow. Relax and throw all your expectations and your need for any control out the door. Enjoy the fleet freedom and flow and accept life as it is here all right your ancestors are here so if you really want to tap into them even more pipestone malachite nature garnet you might be indoors too much especially with it being winter it does get hard to get out for some people um Stay away from like LED lights, fluorescence. I only use LED lights every so often. But you need to spend more time outside, out in nature. Feel the grass, the dirt. Walk bare feet. Walk through water, whatever. Ground your energy through your feet and your hands. All right? Grounding your energy in nature, is a, it's simple. 
you touch a tree, some leaves, a bush, and feel the sun on your face, whatever, the wind in your hair, it's one of the most simplest ways for you to connect here. All right? And I feel like your ancestors, you'll be able to tap into your ancestors even more the more that you connect with nature. All right? Gain self-confidence. Be confident in all areas. Throw them worries. Anything that's making you not feel confident, throw them in the water and let it just flow away from you. So let's get here for the Scorpios, please. For the Scorpios. Let me get for the Scorpios, please. One more for the Scorpios. And there's that water energy with the Six of Cups, that healing energy. You can heal yourself by grounding yourself in out in nature. Spending time out in nature does wonders. So for the Scorpios, for this reading, please. The Scorpios that I'm uh, connecting with. For the Scorpios, please. Scorpio, you're... Wow, we got the King of Wands here. Take lead. You are the type of person that can lead people down a good path. Stay committed. You can overcome anything here as the Queen of Wands. Some people might view you as arrogant, but it's because you have learned to master challenges, obstacles, changes. You have that ability. See the big picture. Take control. Be bold and be optimistic, but always a leader, a leader that carries a vision that you need to stay committed to. And like going to nature is going to do wonders for you here. We've got the chariot. That's where you're gonna succeed. That's where you're gonna get your power, your drive. You're gonna feel a strong desire to want to spend more time out in nature also. But that's where you're gonna succeed is by with opening that heart chakra and feeling is by going into nature building up that chakra be determined be committed Scorpio your water energy is showing up here with you know the water the ocean here and look what's poking out here the ten of cups throw them away so you can live the best life so you can be satisfied emotionally mind, body, and spirit-wise, all right, with the Ten of Cups, it's like emotional satisfaction, that's inner joy and happiness, speak with good words, and good things shall come in return, all right, it's all about the energy that you put out, the words that you speak, that Ten of Cups shows you've got a beautiful life ahead of you guys, Scorpio, your dreams are going to come true, you're going to be fulfilled with, like, inner happiness, because the sun wants to come out here, all right, for your last card. Very vibrant, very emperor-like. It takes self-discipline. All right, it takes structure. And like I said, discipline to overcome things. You might have like darker energies coming towards you because put them in, leave them in the cold. Because anytime you're a higher vibrating energy and disciplined and strong, you're going to attract things. All right, Scorpio. You're going to attract low vibe people. Leave them in the cold. Leave them out. Leave abandonment issues, anything out. I don't know why, but for some reason, for the last couple readings I've done, I've been prompted to pull from the Guardian deck. I didn't feel pulled for any of the other Zodiac signs. So, like I said, I go with the flow. It's not being biased. It's going with the flow with energy. Not everybody has the same energy and has the same reading in the same way done. All right, we got the heart guardian. We got a lot of reds here, Scorpio. I feel like spirit is po po bleh, bleh. can't even talk. <laughs> spirit is pointing you in the right direction, to the right path here. All right, and that path you're going to find in your heart. That's why the nature is here. Love and let yourself be loved. That's going to help you succeed in life. All right. Choose your path and stick to it. It's that determination. It's that drive. I feel like you got a very strong connection, and you're, um, oh, how do I want to say this? Um, 
you've got like animals that guide you also because there's three animals in this picture threes could be of significance here we do have the number 32 we have the number nine break that down to a three see beyond the current situation here leo with the seer i feel like you can see more than others when i say leo i meant scorpio but scorpios are known for this energy set your sights higher scorpio with the stargazer but the seer is here pointing I feel like you can see what direction to go. You just need to open up your heart more. All right. And let your heart lead you and your intuition. All right. But you're going to be fulfilled. You're going to be satisfied. Your ancestors are here guiding you also. And so is nature. So I'm going to leave that there. Scorpios, feel free to hit that like, subscribe, and share.